I can't wait to meet our next honoree. She's a rancher, a, conserv a conservationist, and a philanthropist who's known for her visions and willingness to take risks. I've even heard that she's come face to face with a real live tiger in the African bush. I can't wait to meet her too. I'm a JA student and a risk taker, but a different kind of risk. Thanks to JA, I'm willing to do what it takes to reach my dreams of owning my own company. Now, turn your attention to the video to see how Sue and Shoots Rogers really takes the bull by the horns. Go, let's go girls. I love the land, I love working cattle, I love to ride. Sue is about Colorado, and when, I'm, when I say that, I mean all of Colorado, from every small town and every corner of this state. Passion and compassion, humor and style, generosity and kindness. Known for her love of wide open spaces, her passion for animals, and her commitment to preserving the West, Sue Ann Schutz Rogers' visionary approach to everything she touches has far-reaching impact. Sue Anschutz Rogers was born in 1936 in Russell, Kansas. So value growing up in rural America for the values that I learned. She discovered her love of ranching as a teenager when her father purchased a ranch in South Park, Colorado. And I knew that ranching was definitely in my blood. She attended the University of Kansas and began teaching school until she got married and moved to Arkansas. After a divorce, Sue and her three daughters moved to Colorado. She took control of the family's Crystal River Ranch, which is near Carbondale, and grew it from just one bull and 33 cows to a herd of more than 1,700. And it's a full-blown working ranch, um, cow-calf operation. She's parlayed her success into saving the ranching tradition throughout Colorado and the West. Sue came up with this idea of a conservation easement and she said, ranchers, more than anybody, want to conserve their property. Let's do it as ranchers for ranchers. And out of that was born the Colorado Cattlemen's Land Trust, which Sue's been on the board of from the start. She has served as chair and president of the Anschutz Family Foundation since 1982. She's made a difference in the Front Range, and she's made a difference in rural Colorado. Rural Philanthropy Days is, is a great example. It occurred to me, you know, Rural Colorado is being left out of the mix. All the funders are on the front range. Thanks to Sue, they're no longer invisible. Never schedule it during elk season. And Tim, I'm sorry, okay? I won't mention it ever again, I promise. Another thing that, that she has been long-term committed to has been the Crow Canyon Archaeological Institute. I became, I mean, friends and stayed at Lewa. They asked me to go on the board. I really jumped at that one. And her activities there do raise a few eyebrows in the family. I love being out in the bush, and of course, then I fly around. Love it. The lower, the better. She received the coveted Citizen of the West Award. She's made a difference in business in this community from, uh, from being an owner of the, of the Hyatt Hotel, uh, you know, helping to build that property, build downtown Denver. But what she gives is not only of her time or her talent or certainly of her treasure through her philanthropy, but also of her spirit. It doesn't cost anything to give a smile away. And for uh, a lady that, that I have watched give talks to nonprofits and to stand on her tiptoes to reach the microphone, Sue, you cast a really big shadow. Remember that when you leave this earth, you can take nothing with you that you have received, only what you have given, a full heart enriched by honest service, love, sacrifice, and courage. And in a way, perhaps that's the legacy I would leave to future generations. Please welcome Sue Ann Schutz Rogers to the stage.
I'm a really tall person. <laughs> I'm really tall. <laughs> Jerry, thank you very much. You noticed that I was escorted up the steps, so I guess now I really do need someone to watch over me. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Uh, and don't worry, the letters are this big. Okay. <clears throat> Because I see them. Okay, also, you do not have to worry about me extending my speaking time above the allotted two minutes. However, I would like to make several short but sincere comments. And the first thing is I would like to congratulate all the other recipients who are being inducted this evening into the Colorado Business Hall of Fame. Congratulations. I also would like to thank the selection committee, Barry Hirschfield and Tim Schultz, for selecting me as an awardee of the Colorado Business Hall of Fame. It is an honor to become a laureate and join a very prestigious and impressive group of individuals, including my brother. I am very humbled, and I want to thank all of those who made this possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Jerry.